Um, and I read him the poem and he just looked at me and he said, CID is going to be interviewing you in 20 minutes time. Everyone who's getting arrested at Balkan now gets interviewed by CID because it's, you know, getting quite important now, the whole fracking thing. You need to read that to him as your prepared statement. And then when he asks you anything else, you just need to say no comment. I'll tell you what, that was difficult. I mean, I'm, I quite like to talk, you know, and tell everybody everything, and trust everyone, and, you know, be everyone's friend. And for the most part, that works. But sitting with this very nice man from CID, saying no comment, no comment, no comment, it was like the worst experience I've ever had of trying to eat a donut without licking your lips. It was excruciating. Um, but I did it as I was told, and I'd like to share the poem with you now. Some of you may have heard it already. I put it online. Um, I made sure it wasn't illegal to do so by writing copyright Simon Welsh poetry at the bottom of the handwritten pencil one that CID took as my evidence. <laughs> not a stupid poet. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Well, not, not all the time. <laughs> it's called Imprisoned for Singing. Today... I was arrested for the power of my voice. I didn't get arrested by design or willful choice. They arrested me for singing with my blessed heart and soul. Do they understand that freedom for humanity is my goal? They say I was arrested for ignoring what they said. But that wasn't how it happened in my heart or in my head. I was standing in the crowd when the music set me free and in that heightened state. Let me explain what I could see. Three men standing near me in the bustle and the noise as we sang for hope and freedom. I was singing with the boys. I, was, uh, I looked into their eyes and I sang with all my heart. And in that breath, I saw that we'd been brothers from the start. I did not see their helmets did not register their word, the lyrics and vibration of the anthems all I heard. I did not see their authorship. All I saw was kin, and my heart confirmed this truth and welcomed these three brothers in. The beauty of this moment was both empty and complete. My eyes were streaming tears, and I couldn't feel my feet. And then, without a warning, I was pounced upon and grabbed. I started then to understand. The understanding stabbed. These brothers work for forces that care nothing for the heart. And though the policing uniform's presentable and smart, it's like the cell I'm sitting in. Solid, square and bleak. No room in here for questions or the answers that we seek. The uniform, the cell, I think they truly are the same. And in this feeling, I let go the need to point and blame. Oh, sorry. Our brothers and our sisters, they are trying to do their best in a system that is broken and that needs to be addressed. But how does one address an institution of control that's been corrupted by an entity that does not have a soul? The law has been corrupted by financial corporate might. No one is responsible. There's no one here to fight. So how do we say no to the corporate agenda? Who, if not the police, will be humanity's defender? As I sit here in this prison cell, I know not what to do. Though I feel the answer stirring in the hearts of me and you. Thank you very much. Um,